Oh, with me now, the former Liberal Democrat MP, Dr. Evan Harris, and the senior politics editor of the New Statesman, Mehdi Hassan. Uh, before we get into the coalition's woes or joys, um, just the process by which all this stuff of the last week was got, perfectly satisfied with uh, uh, journalists posing as constituents? Well, I have a very high threshold for criticising the free press, because the alternative is so much worse. But I think there will probably will be a complaint that there was no public interest uh, in, in most of the comments that were obtained, because it's just asking people uh, under the basis of a private conversation what their politics is. And that could have just been done in a straightforward in interview. And in the case of Vince Cable, of course, he actually requested that the remarks not be published. So hmm. on, the, on a human basis, that was a breach of confidentiality. On a journalistic basis, it's, it's, n it's agreeing that it's off the record and then putting it on the record, which is pretty poor practice. Well, maybe you're the journalist here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think we journalists are probably the only people who are about as unpopular as uh, people like Evan, politicians like Evan. And it's because of behaviour like this, frankly. I can't say uh, that I agree with the Telegraph's practice. There was no public interest whatsoever mm. uh, to pose undercover. It was, a fishing, it was a fishing trip. They went along with some tape recorders, mm. pretending to be constituents, Mm. and record whatever we can get, whatever high-level gossip that we can get. Forget WikiLeaks. I mean, there's been all this debate. The Telegraph and all the newspapers have been criticising WikiLeaks for publishing, <laughs> in some cases, allegations of war crimes. And here we have, oh, Vince Cable being recorded talking about his nuclear option, etc. Et Even the Murdoch stuff, which it was important to find out about, that wasn't the Telegraph's aim. That's a retrospective justification. Mm. He volunteered that information. Well, OK, let, let, what about the, the, the grief and joy of, of coalition? I mean, we're not used to it. Uh, it's the first majority government you or I have ever lived under. What, a coalition? A government yeah. with the majority yeah. support of the public? Yeah, 62%. We've never lived with anybody who's had even more than 50%. No, and I'm, and I'm a great believer in coalitions. My problem with this particular coalition is the manner of the coalition itself. Uh, I think there's a lot of people who admired the Liberal Democrats from afar or voted for the Liberal Democrats who were rather troubled over the last few months at the way in which the coalition was formed and the way in which Nick Clegg and, and David Cameron, to look at that picture behind you, uh, have not, it's not, it, it should have been a marriage of convenience to quote one Lib Dem supporting commentator, but it looks like much more than that. It looks like an ideological marriage, a personality I am, marriage. I am grimace uh, because that view is not one shared, uh, according to opinion polls, around about the coalition by the British public. Whoever believes opinion by polls. The, well, by the British public. If you ask the British public, what do you think of this? They like the idea of parties working of together. They, they don't, don't like the Liberal the Democrats. The media right don't, now. And, and certainly the media on the left don't like some of it. And they'll, they, obviously, in the Labour Party, they will want to make uh, mischief on it. And isn't that, your that's problem reasonable. we never knew what a Liberal Democrat was until now? Now we think it might be quite a nasty thing. No, I mean, I think the, 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 the difficulty is that there's two tensions for Nick Clegg in particular. One is showing that coalitions are not cats in a bag. OK, because that's something we believe in. And if it's chaos and if it doesn't provide economic stability, then, then everything falls away. But on the other hand, retaining your separate identity. And that's the challenge that okay. Liberal Democrats but the great, face. The great tragedy is that the Lib Dems have admirably for years, in my view, campaigned for pluralism in politics, uh, electoral reform, coalition politics. But the irony is that the Liberal Democrats may have killed the idea of coalition politics uh, in this way. What, what we're seeing right now, we're eight months into a government and we're seeing all these tensions. And Evan can pretend it's about sure, the media. Sure, it's not about the media. It's about the arguments it's about Lib Dem ministers. That the ugly bits of both parties have been destroyed. I mean, you just don't hear from the far right at all. And you don't it's hear from the, the open toed saddle. It's not about the left of the Liberal Liberal Democrats is ugly. Can it's I, I know I was about... suggesting that <laughs> they were open-toed sandaled beardies. It's clearly it's, it's not about the ugly bits, though. It's about look. For example, let's take tuition fees. On tuition fees, the Liberal Democrats suffered a proportionally bigger revolt on its backbenches than Labour did over Iraq six years into a Labour government. We're seeing those kind of revolts eight months into this coalition. Well, There's that, another four years to go for that, these parties to I stay mean, together. I think tuition where, fees. Where Norman is, is, Baker I think refers fees, to it as an no, apartheid regime. No, I think he refers to his partners as an apartheid regime. I think tuition fees is a special case, and that's been discussed before. And and I think no one in the Liberal Democrats is happy with it. But the point is that what this, what the participation of the Liberal Democrats has shown, in the words of Mehdi's actually own, own newspaper, that what Labour has to ha get to terms with is that this is, in many respects, a more progressive government than Labour would have been and has I been. I think on, 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 the, on, 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 on that, that shock is a conservative, as on I pointed out, hold on, Evan. On, on that shock is ID cards. Point. On fair oh, on civil liberties, all those definitely. areas, I've got it's to, been more we've got to go. than Labour. I, I'm sorry, but thank you both very much.